What is very annoying is that your data is often not in the right format for doing the analysis. So for PRISM, I get this question a lot because PRISM is really picky about the format of the data. And what people have is often not a match with what PRISM wants. And then you need a lot of copying and pasting and it takes a lot of time. So R is less picky than PRISM, but still picky. So for R, there are two formats that you can use for your data. And it's called long format and wide format. So long format would be this. So all your measurements are in one long column. And you have a separate column that defines which group every measurement comes from. So everything is in one long column. So that's long format. This is what you often have. Wide format is also okay for R. That's this one, where you have every group makes up a separate column. Uh, you will have multiple columns with measurements next to each other, so that's wide format. So this is what PRISM wants. PRISM only wants this, not this, but this. So um, in PRISM, it's really hard to get your data in the right format. For R, it's a lot easier. Because R accepts both, and like for doing statistics, this is very helpful, yeah? because every group, if you want to calculate a mean for every group, so mean only works on vectors, so if you have your data already in columns, a column is a vector, then it's really helpful, then it's good. So for statistics, you use the white format, typically. For plotting, for making a graph, you need the long format because the library that you're going, the package that you're going to use for plotting, ggplot2, likes this format. So for graphs, you need this. For statistics, you need this. So in R, you often have to go from one format to the other. That would, of course, take a lot of time if you had to do this yourself. So this is why. There is a package called reshape2 and that allows you to get very easy from one format to the other. So there are two functions in reshape2, melt and decast. Melt goes from wide to long. So from this format and it will transform something that is in this format into a data frame in this format. And decast will do the other way around. It will start from a data frame in long format and transform it into a data frame in wide format. So how do they work? Melt is really easy. You just give him the data frame and he will do the transformation. That's it. For decast, it's a bit harder. You give him a data frame in long format and you have to give him a formula. So, and what does this formula look like? Well, just like every formula in, in R, it contains a tilde. So what comes in front? The variable, the name of the column in the data frame that will be used for the rows in the white format. What comes after the tilde? The variable, the name of the column in this data frame that will be used to make the columns. It will become more clear if I show it. So this is again an external package. So you have to install it. And before you can use it, you have to load it. So this is why we do here library reshape2. It loads the reshape package. I read in a data set. It's available online. So what is this data set about? Let's take a look. It's a data set and as you can see, it's wide format. Yeah? I have separate columns with measurements and every column is one sample, is one group. Yeah? So this is clearly wide format. So if I want to transform this into long format, I'm going to need the melt function. 
So when I do melt on this data set, I'm creating a new data set, heat long. And when I take a look here, you see now all the measurements are in one long column. And he just added here two columns. So one with the names of the rows, G names in this case. So the original row names. And one additional column with here the names of the columns from the white data frame. So sample names in this case. So now you have long format, really easy.